I have a, a saying, uh, no choice, no voice. If uh, you know, people, uh, the taxpayers, the voters don't have a, a choice in the election, they really don't get to exercise their voice. Introducing Democratic congressional challenger Henry Yannis. He's running hard to unseat Republican Congresswoman Candace Miller. Yannis has never held any public office. Still, he's not afraid to battle a well-known incumbent. Perhaps that's because he's been bursting into burning buildings for 23 years. I've always wanted to be a firefighter, and a friend of mine actually built a fire station in the city of Troy. I always liked uh, being behind the scenes, uh, working on campaigns. Um, but uh, this time around, uh, someone had to step forward, and I feel very strongly about my community and my country, and I felt uh, this was the time to do it. Why Congress, though? Some would say, well, you know, why don't you start out on the school board or city council or board of commissioners? Well, I, I say why not? I mean, the House of Representatives is the people's house. And I think we need to have average uh, common working folk uh, going to Washington to represent uh, our, our community. Um, it's the people that, you know, pun punch a clock and bag a lunch every day that go to work that are affected by these uh, policies that come out of Washington. Candace Miller points out Yanis's own Firefighters Association is supporting her. The International Association of Firefighters is supporting her. And this is, so, this is the typical... Uh, pay to play Washington. You know, uh, the reason is, frankly, they don't think I have any chance of winning. Uh, they don't want to upset Mrs. Miller. They don't want to lose access to her office. So uh, they come on bended knee and, and uh, they've given her $7,500. They haven't given me one penny. I do have support in rank and file, though. Yanis is glad Miller crossed party lines to vote for the GM and Chrysler bailout that saved thousands of jobs in their district, but says that vote was a no brainer for any Michigan law. Maker. She's been there eight years. I think she's only passed one bill, and that was to name a post office in Lapeer. Uh, the middle American middle class is being left behind. Uh, when she first got there, um, she was a George Bush Republican, and then when the Democrats took over in 2006, all of a sudden she was bipartisan. Uh, then she rode the Obama wave, and now she's a Tea Party candidate. You know, we never know from election to election exactly what she is and what she's going to be. He will support other Democratic initiatives like health care reform, which he says is all already benefiting his own family. My own personal experience is uh, my daughter would not have health care right now if it wasn't for this bill. Um, you know, she has a, a period where uh, she's just started a new job and she's not going to get health care for six months. She can stay on my health care plan. Um, I look at uh, people who are affected, um, especially women, uh, single moms. You know, single moms are, are a big issue. Uh, they're out there working one, two jobs, trying to keep a roof over the head and food on the table for the kids. And now they're going to be able to afford health care. So I think health care is an extremely important issue that the Democrats should be running on. Uh, it, it, was, uh, it was President Obama's number one issue that, that they uh, ran on. Uh, there's a number of things uh, that, uh, that the Democrats have done that they need to stand up and say, yes, we did this and we're proud of doing it and we're going to keep moving the country forward. Yanis may not have a record to stand on, but he does have values and issues to stand up for. My number one issue as, as far as Congress, uh, every member of Congress sits on a committee, which is supposed to be an oversight committee. Yet these committees are choice committees that, that allow you to bring dollars in, big dollars. People pay to come and see you to present their to present their issues. So one of the things I'd like to see, uh, and I've taken this pledge, I'll do it whether it's law or not, is that I will not take any money, not one penny from any group or organization that's related to any committee I sit on. Not one penny. How different is that going to make you? Well, I, I think I'm going to be one out of 435. And hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll try to show some leadership and try to get, bring some other people along. It's going to be tough as a newcomer. Well, it's going to be it's going to be tough, but you know, you got to take on the challenges. I mean, you know, either that or we just, you know, go sit in the corner and pull the covers up over our head and, you know, hope the bad things go away. And you know, we can't do that. Um, you know, with all the problems that we have, frankly, we're not going to fix any of them until we fix how Washington works. For Democracy 2010, this is Val Clark, Channel 7 Action News.